Yep. It's another visual aid day here at Wendell Lee Well Services for y'all. Uh, got some products here, some uh, old pumps that we pulled out, and I figured I'd uh, do a quick video. Um, get a lot of people asking questions about why are there three wires coming out of the pump or why are there four wires out of the pump what's the difference so today I'm going to talk with you about the difference between a two wire submersible pump motor and a three wire submersible pump motor um, so you heard me refer to the term two wires uh, I'm not when pump manufacturers refer to a two wire motor they're not including talking about the ground uh, two wires to make the motor run um, plus your ground so there's really three wires coming out of the pump versus a three wire motor y'all hang with me here don't get confused now three wires coming out of the pump motor and your ground again what's the difference okay here's the difference so a two wire motor motor still the same right it's got to have the same components a two wire motor utilizes all of the starting components of the motor inside the motor itself okay when I refer to starting components this here is a one horsepower pump these this is a one horsepower control box that has the start relay and the and the capacitor in it to make the pump run so a two wire pump has these components included inside the motor if you had a one horsepower pump that was a three wire motor you have to have this control box mounted above the well. Your pump wires come into the control box and then your uh, power wires come out of it. So that's the only difference. These components for a two wire motor on the left are located down inside of the motor. Whereas these components for a three wire motor are not. They're mounted up here above ground and the wires are just going in like this what's the advantages disadvantages um, disadvantages are you know obviously if these components are in the motor and they go out you don't have access to change them um, but I will say uh, we have a lot of two wire pumps last 25 and 30 years and uh, one of the things I've noticed is uh, these components that they put in a two wire motor down in the motor are a lot better quality than the ones that are in a control box that are mounted above the ground um, now an advantage to having a control box above the ground is you can get these components more easily and you can change them um, so you know in, instead of uh, changing a capacitor down in the motor that you can't get to you change it up here above the ground now I will say and uh, I'm not the only well contractor that's going to issue this statement here you can ask a lot of them uh, these components that are made above the ground don't last near as long as the ones that are uh, located down in the motor okay um, so we prefer to our uh, motor installations wherever we can now a lot of you are thinking, okay, well, why don't they make all motors out there that are two-wire? And again, we're talking about small residential single-phase motors here. Um, and the reason being is it gets to a point where the pump manufacturers just can't do it. So, just to give you an example, this is a two-horsepower control box. You can see there's a lot more components on it than a one-horsepower same thing goes for bigger motors three horsepower box is a little bigger than this five and so on you get the point you get the point um, so at horsepower is above 1.5 it's just not physically e economical to put these down in the motor um, so when you start going to two horse and above for single phase applications um, it's your control box won't be down in the motor it will be uh, up up at your house site or at the well um, where you're going to be working on it. Um, you know, obviously these control boxes come with a reset button on them as well. Um, so there are some advantages to them. Um, but we do get a lot of calls where we have to go back and work on these more often. Um, so 
that's it in a nutshell really uh, not a whole lot to it again when I'm referring to two wires I mean two wires and in the ground so I'm probably confusing all y'all right now talking about it for about the tenth time so I'll just shut up and quit talking about that so hope you get the gist though uh, again a motor's a motor it's got to have the same components it's just a issue you know a design factor of keeping them in the motor down in the well where you don't have to worry about them going out and working on them as much um, or you know some people they want to have a a control box up above the ground so if the component goes out they can uh, change it easily uh, I'm not uh, knocking either one here um, you know both of them work and both of them uh, last pretty good while unless lightning comes in and then you know you can't you can't control that kind of stuff anyways so main point of this video is just to demonstrate the difference of a two wire motor versus a three wire motor so hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave us some comments and uh, stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.